Hi, I'm Eric Voss, and Spider-Man Far From Home's ending really knew how to keep the fanboys chatting with bombshell after bombshell. There was about six different rugs pulled out from underneath us. Whoa! <laughs> Another? Ah, finally, hardwood floor. Oh, it's just a rug that looks like hardwood floor. Please make that the last one. <laughs> that was an ugly rug. <laughs> Rugly. But apparently the ending that we saw in the film was changed from an earlier version. An alternate ending in which Peter Parker's final battle with Mysterio, a battle that the post credit scene suggested is far from over, an alternate ending where that battle plays out in a completely different way. Essentially, more rugs. I'm gonna explain what that alternate ending was and how it could have changed the MCU game differently than the way Far From Home currently does. Spoiler warning for Far From Home and let's get started. So in the film's original ending, Spider-Man confronts Mysterio on Tower Bridge in London, finally embracing his Peter Tingle Spidey sense to fight through Mysterio's barf projected smoke screen. Yeah, the conflict of this movie ended up boiling down to Tingle versus barf. Peter even stopped a last second sucker shot from Quentin Beck and then used Edith to destroy all the drones. Peter sees Beck die, or does he believe nothing to keep an eye out for a future episode? And then Peter takes some victory swings with MJ back in New York. But then in the post credit scene, Spider-Man gets publicly framed for all the attacks by some fake news drummed up by Mysterio and his team and broadcasted by J. Jonah Jameson in a dailybugle.net report, which also publicly reveals Peter's true identity. But the screenwriters have revealed that they considered making this identity reveal unfold differently in an earlier version of the story. In this alternate ending, Peter would have volunteered sacrificed his identity out of necessity during that final battle in London. It would be kind of similar to the moment in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2 when Peter's mask came off when he tried to stop the train and the survivors on that train all agreed to keep his identity a secret as a way to thank him for saving them. But I suppose in this Far From Home version, Peter's appearance would be seen on a much wider display. This is a common device that we've seen in a bunch of superhero movies like The Dark Knight in which the villain blackmails the superhero into revealing his true identity in order to save some hostage or prevent further destruction. The screenwriters also wrote versions of this alternate ending in which Mysterio tricked Peter into revealing his identity to the world in another illusion. It'd be kind of similar to the moment Peter accidentally confessed to the names of MJ, Ned, and Betty as the other people who might know about Quentin Beck's conspiracy, and then he accidentally put them all in danger. Here, presumably, there would be some other illusion on Tower Bridge, and then maybe Mysterio could project the form of MJ, or Ned, or Happy, or maybe Fury again, and lure Peter into to a false sense of security, kind of like the ending where he tricked him into thinking he was dead in the ending that we saw. And then right when Peter removes his mask and maybe says his name because he says his name constantly, another rug pull, the projection fades away, Mysterio is actually alive, and Peter is live on camera broadcast all over the world. So why did they change this ending? Well, the writers said that having Peter outed this early in the final battle would have diminished his victory over Mysterio. They wanted to end the film with Spider-Man winning for the value of truth that Peter represents to conquer the value of lies that Mysterio represented. If the main story of this film doesn't end with that kind of thematic closure, you could risk robbing the audience of the feeling of catharsis that good movies try to leave us with. And then, after the movie, as the credits roll, the post credit scenes job are to kind of open up questions again with cliffhangers that leave us with a sense of mystery and curiosity as we look toward the future stories. Which is why they moved Peter's identity reveal to after the credits. So like after Peter's triumph in the final image, the the next chapter for Peter's story will be him dealing with his greatest challenge yet, being unmasked. Despite, of course, Peter telling nearly everyone he meets his real name. And yeah, in Far From Home, unmasking himself upon walking into a room filled with strangers just because Fury said it was cool? Mm, yeah, being framed for terrorist attacks all over Europe? Sure, definitely a challenge for Spider-Man in the next film. But when it comes to people knowing that he's a dopey nerd from Queens, that is one rug pull that Tom Holland could probably stick the landing after. Which ending would you have preferred? Peter outs himself in London or the post-credit mystery reveal that they ended up going with? Comment down below with your thoughts and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Voss and subscribe to New Rockstars for breakdowns and theories of everything Marvel. Thank you for joining me and whoa, Jesus, Devin, stop stacking rugs!